So I added a bunch of redundant data to make sure my video list looked correct and it doesn't, right? So I actually came through and added, um, you know, 12 total items. And I see that every so often the items are not lined up correctly. So this is how Bootstrap CSS actually works. So what we need to do is after every third item, we need to have a new row and that creates this new set of items here, right? So if we look at our list HTML, we see that we have it in a class, right? So we're just kind of repeating this one class in particular over and over, but that's not what I want. Instead, I'm gonna cut this out and actually get rid of that original class row. And what I'll do now is I'm going to use a semicolon and say, let I equal to index. So what index is, is we can actually come in here and use this variable and we can see the index number. So what that means is we can use it as a condition, but I'm gonna say index plus one. So we save that and it's not loading. Okay, so we can't actually just add it just like that. So instead I'll just use index and then I'll put in a conditional up here for my ng class. So ng class written like this allows me to do some condition. So if I put curly brackets in here, I'm gonna use row as one of my first conditions, a semicolon, and then I could say if, um, so in here, this is where we put our condition, we would say i equals equals to zero, right? So basically this is saying use the row class if i equals equals to zero, and of course i is the index, and there we go. So once I actually save that, it puts this in its own row, which we can see by inspecting the element here, right? So we come in, we see column small four right above row. Everything else is not necessarily in a row. So what if I did i plus one modulo three, which is basically saying the remainder so divided by three remainder equaling to zero. And then let's look at it. And what do you know? It actually is working. So I plus one means that the first list is not necessarily having a row, but everyone thereafter is. So if we see here, row, row, like just look in here, row, 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 and so on. So how did I know it was three? Well, it was three because of my columns. If I had it at three here, then I would wanna change this number to four and we refresh and there we go. Now this does break a little bit when I go further down, but once I go far enough down, I don't need to worry about that anyway. So what I'll actually do is change this to being MD three and then column small 12. So once it goes smaller than medium, it's just gonna go full width and I'm gonna change this back to being three and this back to being four actually. So there's three across, three across. Once I break it down to a certain level, it goes to one across and it just looks a little bit better. Okay, so I also wanna put the H1 tag in its own row too, so we'll make it uniform. So div class equals to row and div class equals to column small 12 uh, we just want this to be a full row essentially. And we'll tab everything else in, save it. And now these will be more appropriately aligned. Now it's it looks like it's still a little bit off because of how these are indented. So that has a lot to do with also this first class that's coming through here because the first one is actually zero. So what I'll also do is I'll say the same thing, but add a new condition, and I'll just say i equals equals to zero. And we'll save that, refresh in there. Now it's giving us this first row. So it's no longer right. It's still going off of three, so the first one is three, so i plus one, it gives us that row as the initial one, but then the next one doesn't hold true anymore. So let's add i plus three still not working, i plus two, still not working, i plus one, still not working. Okay, so 
This is, I mean, you could play around with this to, to get that working absolutely perfectly, but I'm just gonna leave it in as this because they are very well aligned. The one exception would be that. And perhaps if we do div class equals to container, this will realign everything. So it's just nice and perfect over here, but it doesn't, it does the opposite effect. So we'll just leave it as that. And perhaps we can add inside of our row area here, um, we could add a little padding and remove some padding from it. So inside of this row margin, see how I have that? I could kind of adjust and play around with these things uh, on your own. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and bring it into my video detail, or excuse me, my search detail component using the exact same thing. So then when I do a new search, it does that new search. Oh, of course we need to search a real one. It will actually search and find whatever those values are. Again, I'll let you play around with the CSS. Uh, I think it's fine as it stands. Um, so everything else is kind of lined up as we want. But the main thing here is not so much of making all of this absolutely perfect, but understanding how ng class works. So if you have any questions, let us know. Of course, whatever you put here is gonna basically just assign it to being class equals to that. And it's gonna assign it based off of your conditions that you put after. So you can put it everywhere. You can put it in all sorts of places um, if you desire. And then let i equals to index is of course the index of the item in that array. So when we saw it listed out, it starts with an index of zero as programming goes. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.